Well, developing now at noon, the Strip District is usually, of course, bustling with people, but with the coronavirus, that is all changed. And just when you think the situation couldn't get any more challenging, it does. A popular business became the scene of a massive fire. Lindsay Ward shows us how the owner is now moving forward and what the community is doing to try to help. Cleanup has already begun here at Yinzers in the Berg along the strip. Workers are busy sweeping up the glass behind me, but there is still a lot of work that needs to be done inside. This is all going to be ruined. Owner Jim Cohen gives us an inside look at his popular store that houses all things Pittsburgh. No fire damage here, but you can't miss the smoky smell now covering his Steelers, Pirates, and Penguins gear, or how everything is a soggy, wet mess. You know, the store is so normally so vibrant and so electric, and, and uh, it just looks like it's uh, an orphan. He says all of this merchandise will have to go. It's a lot of money, you know. Um, but like I said, it can be replaced. It was just after 8 last night when the fire started on the third floor of the building. Firefighters were attacking the flames high in the air. Their quick action and response, Cohen says, made a difference in keeping it from spreading. I feel awful. It's just tragic. Corey Bonnet is a member of the nonprofit Strip District Neighbors. They're dedicated to making the popular shopping district successful, and in this case, keeping Yinzers alive. It's, uh, you know, it's a special neighborhood. All the businesses are in this together. Uh, if, if one group is succeeding, that helps the rest of the strip succeed. For me, the amount of people that have called me, and it turns a great city. And as of right now, the cause is being investigated. Reporting in the Strip District, Lindsay Ward, KDKA News.